Hey everyone, Ezra here for The Rideshare Guy. Today I am in Sacramento, California at the California State Capitol. Now Uber organized a rally here today. Let's go check it out. Uber organized a rally here today at the State Capitol and they sent out some emails and some in-app messages to drivers and they said, hey, would you like to protect your independence and your flexibility as a driver um, why don't you come on to this rally and you know tell people how you feel we'll give you some free food even there you have food trucks set up here so what this rally is about is it's about the california ab5 assembly bill 5. it could have wide-ranging implications on gig workers making them employees and guaranteeing them things like minimum wage and benefits and other things like that um, at the same time it might affect drivers flexibility so what we really want to see is how do drivers feel about this let's go see what's going on here talk to some drivers see what they think business model determine how they can be used if they want to be inflexible it's their fault this is a drivers unite movement and guess what this goes beyond uber and lyft this is all drivers across all transport sectors uh, they have all these people out here in these i'm independent shirts there's some kind of coalition that's been signing people up to uh, be against ab5 obviously exactly what uber would want and uh, they've got t-shirts, they're signing people up for lists. Let's go check this out over here. So there's this whole table back here with all these people trying to get drivers' names signed up. It's called I'm Independent Coalition. They told me that they represent Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. So I'm here with Taylor, um, and she's holding a big sign that says Uber, Lyft, stop abusing workers. I'm here because Uber and Lyft, they don't treat us fairly. When I started, I was making 75 cents a minute, mile, and like 15 cents a minute. And that's which city? It's here in Sacramento. Okay. Now in Sacramento, I make 58 cents a mile, 15 cents a minute. AB5, all it does is solidify what an independent contractor is. The companies, they either have to change or make us employees. Changing their MO is actually going to be cheaper than making us employees because AB5 is also retroactive. So if we're made employees, I've been driving two and a half years. That's retroactive for two and a half years. So one of the best ways to actually produce change is unity. When people are in agreement, to actually act like you guys are on the same team, to actually like interact as if you guys are friends you know I, mean, I make yeah i make a few bucks more than that if anything and more than that you know what i mean 20 25 bucks an hour so it wouldn't be worth it to me you know what i mean and i would just i don't know i'd definitely be start looking for something else drive for uber and lyft uh, okay i'm located in napa i do the old bay area obviously i've been a driver for five years and so i saw the ups and downs of uh the rights share industry and uh but you know, for me, I want to stay independent. I'm not interested of being an employee. That's exactly what the reason why we're doing this is to be independent, to work whenever we want, to make the money we want. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm just uh, concerned about if we have to be an employee, I'm probably gonna you know, have to find something else. <laughs> uh, now, it doesn't mean that they could pay us a little bit more, but uh, I don't know why do we have to be an employee versus an independent contractor. I mean, all they have to do is increase the rates and that's it. Independence means I don't have to tow the company line. It means if I'm in Turlock, I can turn on my app any time of the day or night. It means if I don't want to drive, I don't have to. And my theory is that other drivers are out there to help the newbies. And also, they need to realize that this bill is going to have far-reaching effects once this goes through for Uber and Lyft, because it's going to impact all small business guys like landscapers, handymen, and they're going to suddenly have to be employees of the homeowner or the small business that uses it once in a while for a job. Beautiful day in Let's go, everyone up here. Let's go. So, do you want to be an employee, or do you just feel like the current situation isn't working? And I think it, that they we need can be employees, and they can play FICA taxes and do all the appropriate things, and still keep things the, the way that they are. I, I think that it's uh, shameful the way they're trying to trick people into thinking that they're going to have to put people on schedules for employees. It's just simply not the case. You know, like everything can still stay the same. They just got to pay some taxes. The state Supreme Court's Dynamax decision is already upon us and will be disastrous for our businesses. We're not here to just oppose something or say no. 
We're here to stand for something, for our rights as small business owners, for the freedom and flexibility to control our businesses, and also for shaping the future of our industry and how we all um, and how we all shape this industry together in a way that makes sense for a 21st century economy. When I learned how easy and flexible it was, I knew this would be the perfect way to supplement my income. But it's also important to me to maintain my flexibility and my independence. What about when I get that audition at the last minute? I don't want to have to ask someone, can I have the day off to go to an audition? So you're for yes on AB5. You know, it's just uh, whatever's going to cost Uber and Lyft more money. Um, AB, AB5 is gonna, it has two options. It has uh, to make us employees or treat us like real independent contractors. I want to be treated like a real independent contractor, not what, what they're talking about. Thanks, man. Uh, I am a driver of two and a half years. I am a perfect five-star rated driver. I live just three blocks from here in Sacramento. Thank you so much. Um, I'm actually here today because I think it's really deplorable the way that they're trying to trick people into believing that they're going to lose their flexibility uh, if AB5 passes. It's just not the case. Um, I brought some literature with me today about what's happening in New York, and uh, I really think that we need this legislation. I think that it's disgusting that they're saving $7 billion a year in payroll taxes alone, and they're not willing to share that savings with their workers, with their drivers, the people that have that have uh, built their company. The only reason I'm here is for, for the, the free food, food and, <laughs> and, and, and I was also promised a $100 gift card. Until all drivers unite on just the fact that we're drivers and just, like I said, just get together first, you know what I mean? Unionize, say that we need more pay, we deserve better pay, and then decide if we want to be independent or employees or not. But nothing will really be solved until the drivers unify. I think it's the last vestige of free enterprise and this is what a free country is about and these people here if I want to work for a dollar an hour then it's my privilege I'll work for a dollar an hour but you have to understand something Lyft and Uber as companies have never made a profit they have never made a profit so I drove FedEx for 11 years I was a contractor and Not so, an employee, a contractor. and to ask you about they that, told me if and where, how, what time to deliver, what time not to deliver, they would control my life like an employee. Can I ask you real quick? Didn't FedEx have their own uh, case though? Right. Okay. I got a settlement. Okay. Now that's not the issue. Okay. The I'm just issue, curious. They controlled everything I did. So it's so well, you feel like they control you much more than Uber or Lyft does? Okay. If I want to take a day off for Uber, I just don't turn my phone off. If I'm going to shut down at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I just turn my phone off. If I don't want to go to San Jose, I just turn my phone off. We just don't want any legislation impeding on the freedoms that are already there. Um, essentially, we just want to keep it as it is and just and just keep it. I think, uh, you know, the free market economy and keeping things uh, like that in the place it is right now is very important. I'm Edward Escobar. I'm the founder of the Alliance for Independent Workers. It's the national, international, hashtag Drivers Unite movement. And we're here basically saying yes on AB5. A lot of drivers, they want fair pay. Well, those are symptoms of misclassification of employment. We need to address this and put the real independence back into independent contractors. We want other drivers here to understand that to be a real independent contractor and be self-employed, 1099 gig worker, you have to think on your own. Don't go by what's spoon-fed to you. You need to think in terms of what it means to be a real independent contractor in this country. That means you set your own rates, terms, and conditions. That's what a real independent contractor does, like an electrician, like a plumber. I work with this company seven years. I know the difference exactly between being a contractor and employee. Back in the day, it was a good pay and we were happy. Now you make one third what you were making before. I'm here to support AB5 because I know we have no voice with the company. The only time we have voice with the company, it's today when they asking drivers about their flexibility. We already limited our flexibility when we work 60 to 80 hours a week. So there is no flexibility. Uber and Lyft, they use their power to tell people it's about union and it's about being an employee. This is not what the AB5. AB5 exactly it says, and you can Google it, to have a voice with the company and you have to sit down legally with us and see what's good for us. That's what it is. 
when you really talk to them, they don't seem as split as on the surface. Whether they want the bill to pass or not, they all seem to be in agreement that Uber needs to be regulated on some level and they would like things to be better. They just disagree on how we should get there. I find it hard to believe that Uber and Lyft would just pack up and leave California. There's far too much money out here. And if they did, there would be new companies literally the next day. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll be leaving a void that will be filled. Yeah. And that's why I want this to happen, so that somebody else can come. Like, go ahead, leave Uber. Bye. Bye, Felicia. So drivers obviously feel very, very passionate about this issue. Saw all sorts of drivers showing up today, old and young, from near and far to share their opinion and their perspectives. It was great to talk to so many drivers and see how they felt about the issue. How do you feel? Would you rather be an independent contractor if you're a driver? Do you feel like you're treated as an independent contractor? Or do you think at this point, an employee classification might be better? What do you think about AB5? We'd love to hear from you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. We post new rideshare videos all the time here on the Rideshare Guy. We hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Ezra, and I'll see you on the next one.